Hi everyone, in this video I'm wanting to show you how you should try and edit your photos whenever you've been taking the photo on a day when there's just too much atmosphere uh, or there's just too much stuff in the way. Uh, for example, this is a shot which you'll see in a video which I'm going to put up fairly soon uh, where I'm testing out my Nikon 7200 and it's a shot of a place called Bass Rock which is just a giant big stone in the middle of the sea, uh, just out of the coast of uh, Edinburgh. And uh, whenever I took the shot, it was a nice sunny day, but there was a lot of atmosphere, moisture in the air. There was lots of just, you know, it was very difficult to see. It wasn't foggy, it wasn't misty, it was just too much stuff in the air. So whenever you're doing a long telephoto shot, everything becomes very low contrast and it looks really kind of dull and mushy. So like here, although the sharpness is great, so the, the camera or the lens has picked up the sharpness, it's looking really, really good. It's just a very dull picture. So I'm going to show you just quickly how you can edit it to make it look much more punchy. For example, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it because I don't want to see this grass down here because that's just kind of getting a little bit in the way and it'll bring that down so it make it a bit more of a kind of panorama looking shot there so it's covering that now okay so it's a bit dull it's a bit boring what we can do is first of all make it black and white uh, bring it into the grayscale uh, it helps us really just look at the the tonal changes rather than the color changes because the color could probably start getting all screwed up when you're having to really change the image a lot next thing I would use is a definitely use a lot of clarity, bringing that up. Now that increases the contrast between the dark and light bits, uh, but in a, in a more kind of localized area. So if we have it down, it goes all mushy, can't see anything. Bring it up, a bit more contrast there. Next one is I'm just going to increase contrast right up. Uh, blacks also, uh, I'm going to have to put them right up. I'm thinking somewhere high. See, straight up, okay, 83, that's that's looking much better, that's much more where I'm wanting to go for it. Now another thing that which might be of use is actually using the recovery tool. Now this is something which probably wouldn't use because as you can see, everything up here in the histogram, it's all within the boundaries. Um, but if you use the recovery when it's a really dull thing like this, it really brings out the blacks a bit more. So let's see if we, if we were to put that right up. There, that's looking kind of a lot clearer already uh, to me. So that's it with recovery at 70, that's it at zero. I would say let's bring it up to around about 50. The exposure itself, I would say we don't need to change uh, up or down. Let's just keep that exactly where it was. I would say the exposure is spot on. Probably still enhance the blacks even more. Up to there. Now the next thing is the tonal curve. Uh, here, as again, the main thing is looking at this histogram. Uh, you've got all this area here, you've got all this area here. So that means this white bit of the lighthouse here isn't actually white. Well, it hasn't been blown out. So you can happily boost up the curves and also lower the curves as well, and that will change your histogram there completely. The other thing is when you do it in black and white, you can actually change uh, the the colours as well. So if you bring the blues down, it brings all the stuff that would be blue to being dark, or you can make it all really white. But that's just screwing up everything there. So I'm going to keep that where that is at the moment. Sharpness. Now this has come out pretty darn sharp. This is also this is the raw file coming out of the camera. But I might just increase that to 85. And you don't really want to increase detail because that could be a lot more noise. So keep that down. But radius, get that up somewhere decent as well. Noise reduction, and if I put that up, that's going to make it a bit more mushy. So, I'm not a fan of doing the noise reduction on this picture. Uh, in terms of straightness, yeah, I think that photo is straight. And what you might see is you see lots of little dots there. That's actually seagulls. Uh, this place is pretty much all white, and that is all seagull poo that's just pooed all over it. Uh, so, that's not spots on the, on the camera. Um, and yeah, so after that, that's me looking pretty happy uh, with how the shots come out. So it really is just massively increasing the, the contrast, putting the blacks right up um, and really playing around with the, the, con with the clarity as well. Um, so if we look at what it was like before, there, 
shot on the left before, you can barely make out what's there, shot on the right. It just looks like it's suddenly become a much kind of better image. Uh, you can really see everything. Um, oh, what I'll do is I'll quickly show you what it'd be like if we put it into colour. So there, as you can see, the colours are just a little bit too... For me, I would say they're a little bit too extreme. Um, so yeah, I would definitely want to calm that down. The sea is never that blue, it's a lot darker than that. So I might bring the vibrance down just a touch, maybe down to about 35. And that's probably more likely uh, the shot, but for me, I definitely think this is a black and white shot, and that's what makes it for me. Okay, so that's what to do. If, if you're taking a shot and there's too much atmosphere, remember you can rescue it. Uh, you just really have to boost those blacks, bring up the contrast, and play around with the tone curve as well. And that'll get you an interesting image. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.